Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another cool find video today. If you're not familiar with these videos, I've got a playlist and I will put that link in the description so you can check out all the random things I found at pawn shops or on eBay or whatever. And today is another pawn shop find and here it is. And you can probably see by the case that this is a stylophone. This is a rare stylophone. Let me unzip it here and show you. And by the way, this is not the, the uh, original case uh, and you can see someone sort of painted on it, but here we go. Now, if you're thinking, what the heck is going on there with that color? Most stylophones are black and silver. This, let me get it out here. This is the Raconteurs, Jack, Jack White's band, the Raconteurs. This is their signature stylophone. And you can see it says Raconteurs here and it has their logo here. Um, and then it has a little different uh, sort of pattern here. Normally this is squared off and they have sort of a rounded thing. And then of course it has the uh, the sort of gold where it would normally be silver. And then the stylophone logo here is in black instead of being, you know, the raised silver. What's interesting about these, you could not go into a music store and buy these. These were only sold on the Raconteurs 2008 tour. Now the originals would have came with a couple of booklets and a, a special box and stuff. Uh, this one again, because it's a pawn shop find, this is all I got was this and this. There's no literature in here or anything. So I don't no, that's long gone. Now, if you're saying, hey, why do you need another stylophone? Because I saw you unbox one recently and you unboxed this David Bowie one here, which I happen to have here, another special edition stylophone. So if you're thinking that, these stylophones are actually different. Um, meaning not just in the color, but they are different models of stylophone. So I'm gonna do a separate video about sort of the history of the stylophone, but real quick, um, Debrec, the company that makes the style that made the original stylophone, they made them from 68 until 75. In 75, they closed up shop. The company then, you know, was gone until 2003 when the owner's son resurrected the company. And then in 2007, he brought back the stylophone. Okay. Um, that is effectively what's in here. Now, this is different from the original stylophone. The original stylophone ran on a nine volt battery and was completely analog. This one runs on three double A's and it is uh, digital is a digital sound circuit. This is the stylophone they made from 2007 all the way up through 2020. And then in 2020, they redid it again and they actually used an all analog circuit in here. So even though these look pretty much identical, they're actually completely different inside. So anyway, this is the Raconteur stylophone. Let's take a quick listen to it. And again, I am gonna do a video later where you can kind of hear the differences between the two. Now, one quick thing that I wanna point out, on the 2020 stylophone, you only have one jack here. On the 2007 stylophone, you have two jacks here because this one has an input and an output where this one only has an output. Other than that, they are pretty much the same from the outside, some minor cosmetic differences, but pretty much the same. But anyway, in any case, let's hear what this baby sounds like. Okay, so here is our stylophone and let's go ahead. I've got it plugged in direct into the uh, computer interface. And let's go ahead and turn it on, pop out the stylus here and here we go. So at first uh, sort of listen, it sounds very similar to the other stylophone. It does have three sound settings, just like the other one. And right now I'm in position two. Let's go to position one. And position three. Real quick, here's three, two, and one on the same note. Okay, back to two, let's flip on the vibrato. And let's do that on setting one. And on setting three. Now, again, like the other stylophone, this does have a built-in speaker. So if you unplug it,
you can get sound. Now, because it does have an input, you can also plug something into this. Now, as you can tell, there's not really any effects. You just have the vibrato on and off, so you can't like apply a filter or something to an external signal. But what you could do is you could plug something in and play it through the speaker, or as you could plug in like an MP3 player and you could play along with your favorite songs. Okay, so real quick, I know I'm gonna do a video about this later, but just kind of a quick teaser. Here's the 2020 revision of the Stylophone. Here's the 2007 revision of the Stylophone. Both are on the center sound, uh, you know, sound number two, and both have the vibrato on. Here's the 2020 and the 2007. So as you can see or hear, they sound quite a bit different. So they are indeed different sounds. So there you go. They do sound a little bit different. Again, this one over here is a digital circuit and this one over here is an analog circuit. And uh, this was a really cool find. I'm glad I picked it up. And it's kind of cool now that of each of the sort of revisions, I have kind of a unique limited edition of each. So there you have it, folks. That's the Raconteur Signature Stylophone Pawn Shop Find. Super fun. Um, seems to be in pretty good shape here. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying this series. And again, check out the playlist in the description. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.